Hey folks, give me one second here. Let me get myself mic'd up. Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? Woo! Ah, there we go. We're back. We're back. We're live. We're live. There we go. We're back. We're back. We're live. We're live. Okay, okay. There we go. We're back. We're back. We're live. Okay. Echo is not ending. There we go. <laughs> okay. Woo. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Hey, hey, welcome, everybody. Uh, glad you're already on. We are about to get it in. Uh, hey, what's going on, Juan? Hey, good to see you, nephew. Good to see everybody on. Hey, if you're on, let me know. I want to make sure you can hear me. Uh, Silver Fox Forex Investments. Wow. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody talking about some money. <laughs> That's always good. Hey, um, we're going to have a good evening tonight. You know, we got something special to talk about. I like doing this part of it. I like doing the actual coaching part of it where I get to, you know, just just get you pumped up. You know, a lot of times I'm just talking facts, giving the information that's highly important so that when I do pump you up, <laughs> you're being pumped up for the right stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and just make sure uh, 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 who else is on here. Hey, what's going on? Eric Decker, Randolph, what's going on? Damage Master. Hey, good to see you again. Ah, all right. So, I, hey, what's going on? I'm glad to see each and every one of you on. Um, we're going to uh, 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 just want to go ahead and do our, our normal stuff <laughs> just in terms of welcoming everybody. I am Uncle B. Um, uh, I've been the sexual performance coach for African Fly for the past 20 years. And what I like to do is on these Thursday nights after we release our videos on Thursday mornings is get on here, talk to you, give information. We can give some back and forth so that uh, we learn from each other. And so tonight we're going to be talking about the top seven benefits of healthy erections because, you know, this is the coaching part. There's, there's a benefit to this. There's a reason why you're going after it. There's a reason why you're doing it. So that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. And if you're on here, please go ahead and hit the like button. Just do that for free for me so we can get the algorithm going and we can get more of this out to more guys because we need guys to get this information. Uh, as always, I want to say thank you to this, all of my subscribers. Thanks to the people uh, who are on this live event. Uh, thanks to my staff for uh, putting up with me <laughs> and helping me get all this stuff together. So let's go ahead and rock and roll. Oh, uh-huh. Hmm. All right. I'm going to take care of this one right now. Uh, if you want, you good. You good, man. Uh, so you're doing a drug test tomorrow. Uh, unless it's a performance enhancement drug where they're looking for your hem bean. We, we, it does have your hembe in it. Uh, that may be one of the things they're looking for. But as far as anything else, nah, you're good. There's no narcotics or anything illicit in African fly. <laughs> uh, hey, Josh. Welcome. Welcome. First time. Hmm. Ah, Shana Batiste, huh? <laughs> oh, all the ladies want to know. That's good. We like that. <laughs> we like that. So, yes, yes. Uh, so let's go ahead and start talking about it. Let me hop into it. So basically, if you want to improve your erections, we, this is something we talk a lot about. There's a process that you have to go to, have to go through. Uh, and we're going to talk about that because you want to obviously avoid erectile dysfunction. <laughs> so let's go the opposite way. What happens if you do do all the things that we talk about? What is it, what's the joy in life? You do get a lot of joy in life and about that. We're going to talk about that. Um, like I said, this is the part I love to do. I like to encourage you. It's not, you know, just me sitting here talking. You, 
you need results. <laughs> you want things to happen for you. Everything is working the way it's supposed to. Uh, let's talk about those results. And with those results comes the confidence, comes better performance, <laughs> better performance. Um, you know, even a, a better size because you can shrink if you don't take care of yourself. So you get a better size, better performance, uh, overall joy. Life actually gets better. And this is something we're going to seriously talk about. It's like life actually gets better if you have erections. Uh, take it from a guy who's gone through the process of a, it was never a problem. Then at one point in life, it was a problem. Like, whoa, <laughs> let me get back out of this, figure it out. And that's the information I'm sharing from you. You know, I have to be uh, 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 giving about the failures, too. So you understand that, hey, it's, we're all human. You know, this is all information that can work for all of us. Um, and of course, I want to give a shout out what, to what I call Nephew Nation and my uptown uncles, the people who come into the comment section. They're giving their take on things. You know, sometimes they agree, sometimes they don't agree. That's all good. But uh, for the guys who are, you know, I, I'm a nephew, too. So as a nephew, basically, you know, it's like I have to be open to learn <laughs> and and also then discern the difference between what I'm learning, what's good and what's bad. And as an uncle, I have to be honest and transparent about my successes and my failures so you can get that information. Nephew, that's what we do. That's what we do. Woo! <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, so... Uh, so yeah, as always, you know, go ahead, subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff so we can get that information to you. We can get this out. Uh, Shana, 100, I believe that. Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. All right, Shana, we're going to talk about that. I want to make sure I get this information out, but that's, that's interesting. We're definitely going to get to that. Uh, mm-hmm. You can shrink. Can you regain the, uh, the size back? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. There are things that you can do. Uh, things you need to understand. So we'll talk about all of that good stuff. Great questions already. That's what we're here to talk about. So um, let's hop into it. So basically, you want to start with the end in mind. So just understand there is a great uh, benefit that comes to having uh, a better sex life. <laughs> and so we're going to talk about those things because it's easier to make the changes if you know what will come, what the outcome will be. So uh, you can reach these goals and age is a factor, but it's not a factor. Age is a factor in terms of like, it may take longer to turn some things around, but you know, it's not a factor in the fact that you can turn it around. It's just a matter of what you do, <laughs> okay? So, um, and you know, the things that we wanna talk about is just making this process normal. How do we make this process a normal part of our lives? And that's something for you to think about. That's something we talk about in other video, videos in terms of rituals and things like that. But that's something that you, uh, you need to have in your life in order to make this work. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the first piece, which is confidence. When your body works good, your mind works good. I mean, these two things are attached. And so the healthier you are, you, you know, getting your exercise in, getting your sleep, all that good stuff, the healthier your mind is also. You actually become smarter. You think about a person who doesn't get a lot of sleep, they make bad decisions because it doesn't work out well. So the more sleep you get, you actually smarter you are. And you have that confidence. Confidence makes you feel smarter, makes you e easier to get to the, uh, the good ideas in your head, the good trains of thought. Uh, so even when you like you're walking into the bedroom and it's like you have that level of confidence Things just become easier. <laughs> Life becomes easier. It's not because it's not just there that you gain your confidence. You gain your confidence in other parts of your life. So instead of worrying about something, you're happy about something. That's what confidence is about. Um, and you're not worried about surprise situations when it's like all of a sudden, hey, you can have sex. <laughs> it's like, oh, OK. Um, you know, to, to, to not worry about that popping up, whether it's Valentine's Day or something like that, you don't have to worry about that popping up. So confidence is a great thing to have. Um, also, it helps immensely in your relationships. I believe we can ask uh, Shanna uh, Baptiste <laughs> about that. Uh, yeah, she was talking about that relationship there. So, you know, for a lot of guys, um, because they don't have that confidence, because their sex life isn't working, they don't go out on dates. You know, they, they because they're not ready to go. So uh, you want to turn that around because a lot of women actually like having sex. It actually calms them down. I've heard that from several women over the years. So, you know, and you have to remember your overall relationship gets stronger. 
So that level of intimacy that, you know, just you and this other person are supposed to have, supposedly, <laughs> when that is strong, everything else becomes a lot easier in the relationship. Like I said, having a healthy erections, having a healthy sex life makes a lot of things that we normally don't talk about much easier. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I mean, just ask, would a great sex life make your relationship easier? And just, you know, think about that. It's like, how would that change that? You already know in a lot of ways. It's like, oh, yeah, the, the things would have wor worked out better. The things could be better. So think, keep that in mind. Um, as far as your health, good erections is a sign of a good health. <laughs> These two things go hand in hand. Um, we have a measuring stick right in front of us that can just tell us, like, yeah, you have a morning erections? Perfect. <laughs> Spontaneous erections? Great. Your body is working well. On demand erections? Are you doing good? So we have this. It's something to pay attention to. <laughs> Curtis Murphy. Yes, it does call him down. <laughs> uh, I feel so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> have that healthy relationship. Have some healthy sex. Okay. Uh, and just being healthy. So, you know, a lot of people don't think of the penis as being a part of the person. It's like it's somehow separate. It's weird. You know, you'll see people like the shockwave therapy I've talked about before, where it's like, you know, people are just working on your penis. And not the rest of your body. And it's like, well, you haven't dealt with the underlying circumstances. So, you know, your penis is a part of you. So it's, it's easy to tell that your health is good because your erections are good. Also, your size. So uh, you can get smaller. <laughs> it's called atrophy. You think of a person who's 21 and athletic and imagine they just let themselves go. And now they're uh, 81. And it's like their muscles got stronger, smaller. They got smaller. And so the penis got smaller. Ask nurses. Nurses who take care of seniors. No. It's, yeah. mm. <laughs> so you want to do things that you can. Uh, uh, having a healthy erection helps your size stay. Um, and there are some things you can do to, to help your size grow. Uh, we have another video that talks about that. But, you know, you just understand you need to be an eight, nine or ten on that sexual performance scale. You need to be very, really healthy to start worrying about the growth of your penis. Uh, before that, you need to worry about it just being erect as often as possible. Morning erections, all that good stuff. Uh, and the thing about size is men are typically 20 to 30 percent smaller than they could be because of the lifestyle that we now have. You know, not having enough testosterone going, not sitting down most of the day, not getting a lot of blood flow, uh, eating all types of random food. <laughs> That's not great for us. Uh, so you can get larger. It just takes a lot of work. It does take a lot of work. Uh, and African fly can't help with that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you do have to work it all. Uh huh. <laughs> They'll fall asleep. Curtis, man, what's going on, nephew? <laughs> all right. Uh, sexual performance. Ah, this is a great one. The sexual performance. If you're erections are great you have no problem your sexual performance kicks up this is when you start having fun uh especially the more in shape you have you are the more wind you have mm. <laughs> you know you can sit there and brag you know it's like oh yeah i'm going to wear it out all that good stuff yeah <laughs> because you can function you're confident you're not worried about anything you're not worried about going down at the wrong time <laughs> you're not worried about, you know, not lasting long enough. All these things come with having that healthy erection. It's a goal. It's a goal. And, and I dare ask you, uh, is, is she worth it? <laughs> is she, I mean, even, not even her. Are you worth it? Are you together worth it? I mean, just taking care of your body, getting the erections the way you need them. You have much more fun in life. And you most certainly do. Mm hmm. Angle of erection. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, if your core is tight, this, this, all men are different, all men are different, but typically if your core is tight and you have a strong erection, you're going up to like a 45 degree angle. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, if it's not, you know, for a lot of guys it's straight or it just depends. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. But good question. Good questions. Uh huh. Pointing upward. Pointing upward is a good thing. Uh, unless, it, it, unless there's another issue. But we want <laughs> No time to talk about that one right now. Uh, yeah, so with your sexual performance, so yeah, you can get back up faster. Uh, you can give more satisfaction. You can last longer. Um, you can, you know, stay in certain positions longer. Uh, you have stronger orgasms. 
<laughs> so you're having fun. She's having fun. Um, you know, your ejaculate, ejaculate comes out at 22 miles an hour. So, you know, I had a friend when he was in college was talking about he was trying to hit the ceiling with it. You know, <laughs> all types of games, all types of games you can have with that. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, God, are you eating breakfast? We have find find AM breaking too fast. Oh, OK. OK. Oh, you guys got questions. You guys got questions. We're going to get to all of that. All righty then. All right. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do want to get your sexual performance up. Uh, that is all part of the process of, <laughs> of good health, good erections. All right. Um, and here's the other thing, you know, this is the opposite end of that confidence and that's just having less stress overall. Um, you know, so, cause some guys, because they can't do it, they try to avoid stress. I mean, try to avoid having sex. And I've heard of it from both sides. I've heard, you know, the guy explaining to me he was doing this and the woman being completely confused <laughs> as to why uh, he wasn't, you know, trying to touch her, be involved, et cetera, et cetera. And it's because he wasn't functioning correctly. He didn't know how to explain that well or at all. And so he just tried to avoid it altogether. And it was a mess. So got him fixed. They're, <laughs> they're fine. Uh, I mean, and, I also just want to tell you a quick story of a client um, who I was working with. He would not get married. Um, he wouldn't propose until that worked. So, yeah, yeah, this can't affect relationships. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's something worth paying attention to. Um, and then think, just doing other things because you're scared, like I said before, you know, you're scared of Valentine's Day because, oh, if, you know, we got all the stress and everything that goes along with Valentine's Day and you're supposed to perform and that's been an issue. Well, you don't have to worry about that because you have great interactions. It's a wonderful thing. That's the reason why you need to go for it in terms of getting your energy, eating the right foods, getting a good sleep in, getting exercise in, doing your intermittent fasting, taking care of your soul so your erections are working. <laughs> you can have a great sex life. Um, and for a lot of guys, they're afraid to pro approach new women. Now, this could be a problem <laughs> because it's not like, you know, if you're not taking care of the main issue, which is, you know, your health so you can have better erections. So, you you know, you meet a woman and you want to have sex. It's not an embarrassing thing it, because you work. So that's the benefit. That's the reason why it's worth going through and doing all these different things, listening to all the different videos, getting as much information and applying it to your life. That's that's the way you get uh, results. That's what we're looking for. Results. All right. Um, and yeah. And, and also uh, less stress because you're less distracted. And if you're going around with this on your mind, like, oh, man, I, well, last night, you know, I wonder if she's I mean, and now you're spending your entire day just thinking about the wrong thing. You don't have to do that. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Get your erections up. You're going to be good. Uh, also, this is highly important on, a, on several different levels, uh, metaphysical, physical, spiritual, healthier children. As a man, you get one shot. It's like Eminem, you only get one shot, literally. Um, because you're talking about men give life, women give birth. So you're giving life and the higher quality of life you have in the physical sense, the better chances for a healthier child. So take advantage of that one shot. You know, it's like, hey, be, if you're trying to have children, get as healthy as possible. Having healthy erections shows that you're as healthy as possible. I mean, just think who would have a healthier child as a, a male giving sperm, a meth head or an athlete? Uh, a natural good <laughs> healthy athlete or somebody who's just they just have problems so we already know the answer to that no tests needed for that one <laughs> all right uh mm -hmm. yep there we go uh the comment room is heating up i love it i love it want to get to all of this <laughs> all right mm -hmm. all right so uh so yeah let's go ahead and just go ahead and wrap this up. Um, when it comes down to it, in conclusion, confidence in the bed leads to a lot of good things. <laughs> a lot of good things. Think about it. 
um, you know, you want that to, ha to happen because it'll make your overall relationships stronger, you know, uh, especially if you're trying to keep together a family, um, not needing to worry about this, you know, your kids saying, oh, they're, they're healthy. This is all healthy. It is, you know, normal <laughs> type stuff because you don't have that problem. Fix those problems. Make sure you don't even get into that territory. Um, strong erections are a sign of good health. An unhealthy penis is a shrinking penis. <laughs> you don't want that. Keep them healthy. Uh, with a healthy penis, you can last longer. You can get back up faster. You can have stronger erections. <laughs> you can you can do new positions. You can you know ah, uh, it's a wonderful thing. Yeah, yeah. Do these steps so you can get to where you need to go. Uh, less stress trying to avoid sex, and as I said before, you only get that one shot uh, for your kids. So it's it's important. You're a male. You're a life giver. Give the best life possible. Make sense? Make sense? All right. Uh huh. All right. Ah, I can't wait to get these comments. Let me just uh, wrap this up really quick. Um, so great questions in there. Uh, love that. Uh, just want to remind you to make sure to come back next Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so we can do this again. Uh, thanks to all the guys who are continually coming back. You know, it, it just makes me feel good uh, to see you there. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. Even the guys who are on but don't comment. <laughs> I appreciate you, too. Uh, and if you're on here, please help me out with a like uh, that helps out other people, too, because we want to get this message out to more people. Likes don't cost a thing. Just that little button right there. All right. Get those likes up. I love that. Um, so as always, make sure, you know, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and, you know, shout out to Nephew Nation and my uptown uncles. Thanks for being on. Uh, thanks for being in the comments, you know, helping each other out. We do appreciate everything you bring to us. Uh, you know, as always, get your game up. But there's no peace out right now. We're going to get to these questions. All right. Woo. The list is long and it's growing. I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Silver Fox Investments, the best foods for type 2 diabetes and a healthy sex life. Um, actually, that's pretty simple. Um, you want to get as much plant fiber into your body as possible. Raw plant fiber, preferably. Um, fruits and vegetables. <laughs> the more you have that in there, um, what it's going to do, it's going to open up uh, your, your blood vessels, the nitric oxide will be there, uh, the gut bacteria will get better, um, you know, inflammation will start going down, and you know, your whole body will start just getting better. It's really simple. That's the problem. You know, we used to complicate it, and what kind of pill can I take? <laughs> I won't change anything, I'll just, just give me the pill. And it's like, with this, you know, you're just going to that one aisle of the grocery store, eating that food, and also uh, fasting. Uh, it's called it's a, a medicinal fast. Uh, you know, Dr. Uh, Jason Fung, uh, look him up. He talks about that using fasting to uh, get rid of diabetes, but you can get rid of diabetes and you can get your sex life back. Uh, African fly does help increase your testosterone. If you have type two type diabetes, um, most men with type two diabetes have lower testosterone. You want to increase that testosterone and it also helps with blood flow. So those two things can help with uh, your love life. Hope that answered your question there, Silver Fox. All right. Mm hmm. All right, Shana, I'm, I'm going to go down this list to get to Shana, Ms. Baptiste, here because uh, you say a lot. <laughs> I want to make sure I get in everything. Also, getting all these other questions. Uh huh. Ah, so yeah, I think I sort of answered this, but Decker Randolph had asked um, You can shrink? Yes, yes, you can. Mm hmm. Go to those old folks' homes and ask them nurses. And mm, ain't a cute thing. <laughs> Uh, but you can keep it up. It's, it's just called being healthy. Uh, um, my, my real nephew, we were working out one time and he, he asked me, it's like, how long we have to work out? And the answer is for the rest of your life. And that's being sincere. That's being true. So, uh, the reason why you atrophy is because the muscles are not being used. They're not being stressed. Humans are set up just like all animals are straight up, set up for peace and stress. And that switches fast. So uh, what you want to do is be able to stress your body so that it, it has to rebuild itself. It, it has to get stronger. So the more you're doing that, uh, you, things won't atrophy. It's blood flow. It will continue happening. So you want to keep yourself moving. You want to keep yourself moving. Hey, what's going on? So 
Freak. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, would keto help with type two diabetes? Since that's we're on that subject, uh, I don't believe so. Um, and this is because of the meat portion of keto. Uh, they're saying to cut out carbs, which would sound good for a diabetic. So it's like, okay, I'm cutting down on sugar, but pile up on meat. And uh, if you're, you're, we already eat too much meat. And, you know, they've shown that the cause of diabetes is meat. So if you're adding meat, more meat to your diet and taking other things out, you're going to have a problem. Uh, this is the new science. You know, it's not, I didn't come up with this. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the information that's been given out. So, uh, you know, there are different movies on Netflix that you can check out that uh, give this information. So uh, it's out there. It's just like a lot of a lot of people don't know. So, yeah, avoid that meat if you have diabetes. Avoid meat, period. But especially if you have diabetes, you've just gone overboard with that. Uh huh. All right. Uh, I want to say your name Risto Benji. I hope I said that in some way that makes sense. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? Mm -hmm. uh, Curtis Murphy asks, when will you notice length? I guess you're asking about um, in terms of uh, enlargement. Um, we typically say, you know, uh, two to three months, you'll start noticing a change that you'll get larger. But this is if you're already sitting there at that eight, nine or 10. So we're talking about... Uh, your body are, is working. <laughs> you can't just say, hey, yeah, you know, I just want this part to work. That's why those pills that just say, hey, take this pill and it will grow. It's like, well, you know, still there's underlying things that you need in order for blood flow to go down there, expand, and it has to be over a period of time. So, you know, just being real with it. Just being real. All right. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Shana. I hope I'm saying it. Is it Shana or Shana? Uh, length isn't really an issue. I'd rather, rather have the width. Yep, everybody has their preferences. And, uh, you know, the interesting thing is that uh, women have different sizes too. So a lot of times we just point out that the fellas have different sizes. But ladies, yeah, some, sometimes you have to be cracking a, a code. Sometimes you just fall in. So, <laughs> skip it a real. Keeping it real. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. I think I got to that question. Uh, mm -hmm. I think there was a question about intermittent fasting. I did want to say that. Uh, peanuts, are they good for you? Um, I've heard some people say no, but, you know, it's not like... Um, it, unless you're just downing, you know, elephant-sized levels of peanuts, you should be good. Uh, you know, if you don't have an allergy or anything like that, um, you should be good. But in terms of if you're eating the honey sugar uh, <laughs> with salt uh, of chocolate flavored peanuts, no, no. Uh, typically, you know, it's, it's, you can't eat peanuts raw, but, uh, you know, you don't want to have all the extra sugars and all this other kind of stuff in it. Um, you know, and you're getting those planters in the 7-Eleven and stuff like that. You're actually getting not the uh, uh, the best source of peanuts. This is just factory food, uh, just plants. Uh, better than, you know, eating animals. But, yeah, it, it's not the greatest, especially when they dry roast it and they got that salt. And because they're so easy, you're just sitting there popping them <laughs> like all day long. Uh, you can gain weight with those, so you do need to be careful. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> Shannon, look at that. Look at that. Miss Baptiste there. Uh, <laughs> we go through a lot. Men, we go through a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Early on, oh, it's fun. You, you before, <laughs> you're in your teens, you in your 20s, and not needing to worry about anything. Uh, Unfortunately, that's changing. You've got a lot more younger people with issues. But, you know, to, to not have to think about it, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, to have to think about it, whew, interesting. I uh, want to make sure I'm saying this. Levinely, Vinely, uh, Samly. I know I messed that one up. I only eat once a day. Is that a problem? You only eat once a day. Is that a problem? It really depends on your, uh, or you. I mean, question, is it a problem? Uh, do you feel healthy? Uh, there, are, it's called um, for. You may not be knowingly doing this, but people call it OMAD, one meal a day. Um, 
and you can get all your nutrition. I mean, you have to think about it. We overfeed ourselves. That's the reason why everybody's fat. And the whole concept of eating morning, afternoon, and evening, um, that's relatively new in human history because that has to be like you're saying staying in one place and all your food sources in one place. Uh, we've gone from that to like right now, our, we don't even see our food source. We just go to the grocery store <laughs> and there it is. And so we eat without doing the work to get to the food. So before you were supposed to work, then you get hungry, then you eat the food. Now we just use our phone <laughs> and the food shows up at the door. So, uh, so one meal a day, uh, if you feel fine, if you feel healthy, that's fine. I would say just be uh, careful with what food you're eating. Um, if you're like, you know, losing too much weight, anything like that, just pay attention. Just pay attention um, and uh, make sure your, your, your food is nutritious. Yeah. So one meal a day, if it's working for you, it works for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people just can't do it. That's all there is to it. Uh huh. <laughs> Thanks, Eugene. Oh, I lost weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get it in, man. Uh, this shirt, I have a shirt under this shirt. That wasn't happening before. Mm -mm. Uh huh. Ah, uh, Curtis, I've been eating a lot of garlic, cayenne, pepper, banana. All good for you. All good for you. Hey, what's going on, Jonathan Busby? Eugene, what you got, bro? Uh, mm -hmm. Gene, based on your recommendation, I've been intermittent fasting, but I'm losing too much weight. Help. Okay, stop. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, if you're doing intermittent fasting, you know, it, it depends on what your goal is. So, uh, unfortunately, we haven't had a conversation, but if your goal is to increase your testosterone levels, it's not also helpful to lose muscle <laughs> at the same time. So, it's like, what are you eating uh, when you're not uh, fasting. And that's really the most important thing. And also, what is your stress level? What is your size already? Um, you know, are you trying to gain weight or are you trying to lose weight? So, you know, there are different practices at, at different times for different reasons. Everyone at some point should fast, uh, whether you're skinny or not. But if you're not skinny, it's not helpful to go on a sustained fast all the time. That just doesn't make any sense. So the goal is to use whatever health tool is available, whether it's food, sleep, intermittent fasting, whatever you're doing, even meditation, don't go overboard to the point it doesn't make any sense because that's the opposite of what it's supposed to do. So pay attention. Just pay attention. Uh huh. Uh, are pomegranates good for, uh, for erections? Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Yep. We'll get that on our list. Uh huh. Let me see. Info help, big broom. Ah, A2B Media. Hey, hey, appreciate that. Mm hmm. Roots, Melanin Plus. Hey, okay. <laughs> Wonderful question here. Uh, <laughs> is it safe for a 50 plus year old to make love more than three times a week? I hope to God, yes. <laughs> We go for three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> um, it, it's really dependent on your, in all seriousness, it depends on your level of health. So um, that's where, you know, they tell you to go to your doctor, check things out first. But, you know, typically, unfortunately, a lot of doctors just give you pills to take. Um, it, it's better to take care of your health and just get naturally healthy so you can function better. Uh, but yeah, you know, there isn't a reason why you shouldn't be able to have as much sex as you want to. In fact, um, they were worried about a lot of STDs in old folks' homes. Well, let me say old folks' homes. Senior, senior citizens' abodes. <laughs> uh, but where you had a whole gathering of people who did not need anyone's permission to have sex or not to have sex, they were having a lot of sex. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, age ain't nothing but a number when it comes to that. Well, yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, Tom Roberts. I uh, have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, Curtis Murphy. Oh, Beats. Beats. Yeah, that's very good. Mm hmm. Uh, Damian Gibson. I would take African Fly, but my kidneys are bad. Oh, yes. Please don't. <laughs> please don't. Uh, we are only here to help. Uh, don't need money like that at all. Uh, we just rejoice in you being healthier. So, um, but get, yeah, get, get those kidneys taken care of. 
Uh, seriously, uh, uh, that as always, health is always uh, the most important thing. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, Frank, premature ejaculation uh, be the problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we talk about this uh, in another another video, but um, as far as uh, premature ejaculation. It really, it's two things. One, you're telling the girls like, oh yeah, you turn me on so much, I can't help. <laughs> but, you know, come fast. Um, but there are some things, and I won't go deep into it, but there's some things that you can do um, in terms of controlling that. You know, one just being meditation. I say meditation for a lot of things, but meditation just, just literally, physically in your head calms you down. Uh, the other thing is, you know, foreplay. Uh, that seems counterintuitive, but if you have more foreplay, you're building up your testosterone. With more testosterone, you're building up your stamina. With that, you can last longer. And there also are just a couple of techniques in terms of, one, just letting her know. <laughs> it's like, hey, uh, you're really turning me on, so oh, they don't, don't, ooh, I'm sensitive. And so, you know, just let it become a game with you guys until, you know, it works out. So the communications part is essential for that. So hope that answered uh Got some some you got some good information out of that. Uh huh. Hey, Alan Austin. Hey, appreciate you, man. Uh huh. Donnie Links, aka Go Vegan. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, vegan is a good thing. Uncle V does drinking alcohol make a difference? A huge difference. Well, <laughs> a huge difference. Uh, yeah, ethanol. Having ethanol in your body. <laughs> <sighs> Alcohol is a fun conversation. Uh, having ethanol in your body, ethanol is basically it's a it's a alcohol is a poison that happens to make us feel woozy. It makes it seems like the world changes our state, all of this good stuff. However, in terms of your body, it is a poison. That's why you just uh, such thing as alcohol poisoning and alcohol licks because alcohol does lead to issues. So uh, yeah, very important not to go that direction. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Derek, uh, please explain to me how I can get back my size. Um, well, <laughs> um, how to get back your size? Well, we have a video that, check out the penis enlargement video, because <laughs> uh, that's, that's, a, that's a, a long uh, process. Um, and you just need to get all the information. That's a whole video in itself. That's the reason why we have, we have that video. So hopefully you're a subscriber and hopefully you'll check that out. I hope, I hope you will do that. Uh, Curtis Murphy, I don't eat meat anymore. Good, 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 <laughs> good, sir. Uh, huh. Uh, I think I answered that question for Shad. Uh, yep. Yep. Got you in there, Melanie Plaza. Huh? Hmm. All right. Yes, yes. Thanks for all the great comments in here, fellas. Uh, oh, ladies and fellas. <laughs> okay. Uh, I missed it because I was saying Shana and Shana. So, <laughs> Shana. Okay. Okay. All right. Shana. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> uh, okay, Scott, I live in Minnesota. Where can I get African Fly? Just go to AfricanFly.com. Uh, at AfricanFly.com, we have a ton of information on the product, how to use it, how to get the most out of it. Got the blogs, got videos, all that great stuff. It's a great product. Been around for 20 years. I love it. <laughs> it's helped me out a lot in life, I'll tell you that. Uh huh. Uh, where can I get African Fly in LA? Uh, same thing, AfricanFly.com. Um, and Robert McGowan, African Fly really helps. Great. <laughs> so glad to hear that. We hear that a lot. And, uh, you know, we want to ha have the coach in here to make sure it definitely works you get something out of it uh-huh huh my wife turns me on so much and i have that premature jack yeah premature mm-hmm yeah oh yeah yeah let her know Ooh, you got a baddie okay okay let me find out that's why his name is soul <laughs> knew he was doing picked well picked well uh-huh all right eugene i'm on my second batch of three bottles all right okay Hope everything is working every every possibly of wonderful. Um, Ty Bud Woods, is it true every 35 pounds you lose, you gain an inch? Um, I don't, that doesn't sound, um, that's random. <laughs> it's, it's like 35 pounds, it's like on who? 
Um, so, I mean, yeah, if you lose, the healthier you are, I mean, the more your, your penis is going to show. I know there's a, the sagging over top of it, that type of thing. There's supposed to be parts of it that's, you know, a little bit deeper in. But, you know, uh, yeah, so you basically you're saying like if a 300-pound dude lost 35 pounds, he would... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he would keep on losing weight and gain more inches, whereas a 135 pound dude, it, it does. Yeah, that's random. <laughs> oh, that doesn't work out well. Hope that answered your question, there, Ty. But Ty but Woods, uh, T.J. Evans didn't answer my question. I'm sorry, I, I, T.J. I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I don't work for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to get to all the questions that I can. Uh, this is uncle territory over here. You will not run me. I mean, come on now. Just ask your question again, man. We grown. <laughs> oh, man. You know, you know, I love you all, but come on, man. <laughs> Shina. Ah, shy. <laughs> shy. <laughs> ah, uh, let me get this question in. Uh, huh? Ah. Uh. So Kenneth Brown asks, increased dose of African fly help with help erections? Um, actually, in, in some cases, yeah, it does. And that uh, depends on where you are on the sexual performance scale. So, and if you're older, so it's all about increasing that level of testosterone and blood flow. So uh, it may take longer. Um, if you're doing the things that we talk about in terms of uh, eating the right things, getting sleep, exercise, all that great stuff, then that process will be uh, much shorter. Because you need that process regardless of what you're taking. <laughs> so, uh, but African fly can definitely help you get there faster. Uh-huh. Uh, Ron Mays, Uncle B is eating raisins and cranberries okay to eat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, don't go crazy on the raisins if you're uh, trying to lose weight. Just because there's a lot of sugar in there. Uh, not as much uh, of the liquid in there. Fiber, but... Just a lot of sugar. So you want to be careful with that. Uh-huh. Uh, Mr. Woods, what about ground turkey and also or chicken breast? Is it healthy to eat daily? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not a good idea. Um, basically, what you're eating is something that's dead. Uh, eating death is not going to work. You know, a lot of people say, oh, we're carnivores. Carnivores eat animals alive. For what Ever amazingly weird reason, even doctors say that humans are carnivores, but we can't do a huge thing that actual carnivores do, which is eat an animal alive. Because if we try to eat an animal alive, we die. So that's a huge difference. I don't understand it. It's even in Wikipedia, it's just weird to me. It's just something that's weird to me. But uh, if you're eating death, uh, death is going to do what death does. It's going to decay. It's going to change the way in which your body functions in terms of getting uh, rid of it. It wreaks havoc on the inner lining of your veins and things like that. Uh, it causes inflammation. Now all the processed meats have a lot of uh, bad ingredients in it. The way they take care of the animals is bad. This entire process is not a good process. So uh, I don't recommend any of it. I know. I, for years, chicken is much better than found out that they stick extra uh, saline and uh, saline salt into uh, the chicken to plump it up. And, you know, they gave it estrogen and all this other kind of weird stuff. And uh, more antibiotics are going into animals than are into humans because the animals are in terrible, it's just bad. It's just bad. So, um, yeah, I understand. I used to eat 200 animals a month, um, even the good animals. <laughs> and, and it was still uh, wreaked havoc on my body. So don't recommend it. Don't recommend it. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, Curtis, I have noticed thickness. Hey, good. Good. There you go. Uh, mm-hmm. Shana asks, uh, what's the normal penis size? When it's hard, what size should it be? Uh, the normal penis size is the one that comes with the human. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's like normal size for like a five foot five guy or a six foot five guy. Or, uh, you know, a short guy, tall guy, skinny guy, big guy. Like, I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's, you know, everyone's preference. So just like what's a normal size for a woman? 
Like I said, there's ones you got to crack the code to get into, and there's other ones just Geronimo. So, <laughs> 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 woo, woo. I'm sorry that we can we edit that out. <laughs> can we edit that, please. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Uh, but yeah, there are different sizes. There are different sizes. Okay. Uh, uh, EJ missed my question. All right, dude. I'll find your question. What is going on? You trying to help get help? What's going on? Let me find. I missed my question. Just say your question. Uh, we got people here that will help. Help me find your question. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I think I found it. Whew. So, honey, if I start eating the right foods, I can get slightly larger in my early 30s. Yeah. 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 I mean, not just eating the right foods, but also um, getting that sleep. It's all about increasing your testosterone. Uh, with that increase in testosterone, you get more erections more often. Um, you have five erections normally overnight. And changing the way you eat and actually getting more sleep <laughs> and exercising and doing some intermittent fasting and, you know, taking care of your stress level with your soul and everything. Doing those things. Yeah, it's good. Your whole body is going to get better. It's pre-programmed. We just are in a situation where we've been given so much wrong information is just culturally set. I mean, it took someone from another country to come over here and point out that in America, we have a holiday for a feast every month. Fourth of July, then this holiday, then that. And then, you know, we always find a reason to eat more than we should. St. Patrick had nothing to do with getting drunk. <laughs> so, I, so we're in this situation where it's like we're, we stay up too late. Uh, we're uh, focused on the wrong things. We're not in nature. Um, we're not getting the sun, all these different things, all of this stuff adds up. So, you know, yeah, you can literally be a completely different human being. That's just the truth. <laughs> so, uh, but it takes, you know, a lot of getting rid of the stuff that you've been already programmed to do. It's literally, that's it. Like a person asked earlier about diabetes, literally, that's it. Stop eating meat simple but for so many people that's hard and i get it because thanksgiving is coming and then christmas and then i drove past the wendy's i lived that life i <laughs> understand took me a while to get past it but you know it's it's worth it it's worth it that's the reason why we had this uh we were talking about that tonight uh-huh so whew, you're welcome ej <laughs> appreciate you ej whoo man all right uh huh let me see Oh, I went past all these. I uh, got to that. Uh huh. Hold up. Oh yeah, roots. Ethiopians have a raw dish made of raw red meat. Bless their hearts. Uh, I no. Is isn't that for like a uh, special occasions like weddings? I believe. Um, but hey, uh, you know if that's someone's tradition, if they're able to live, and no one's getting sick. Uh, do you? <laughs> Uh, that's confusing to me. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right. So we got Bobby Whitney. I have a question. I have been taking African Fly, doing the better, better with diet, and through the COVID nineteen, still losing weight. Taking African Fly for three months, have not seen change. Is there something wrong? Um, really depends on where you're starting from. So um, you know, if you're uh, unfortunately, I don't have your, your demographic information. Um, but, you know, if you're <clears throat> lower on the uh, sexual performance scale, you're already having issues with your erections. It depends on how much you say you're losing weight. How much weight do you need to lose? Uh, so the more information we have on that, the better. Uh, <clears throat> and what I'm going to be doing, uh, what we're in the process of doing, we're, we're doing a coaching program to you know, work with Zoom and get people on Zoom so we can uh, uh, <clears throat> get the information. You know, I can get more one on one because it's a lot of guys. <laughs> As you can see, it's a lot of questions coming in. But I do want to help some people who uh, they're trying to go through the process and it's not working because a lot of times it may be a little bit of impatience or, you know, uh, higher expectations. Not sure. Uh, but, you know, if you're losing weight and you're eating better, you should be seeing some results. So 
definitely. Uh, definitely want to make sure anyone who takes African fly want to make sure you're getting the best out of it. So <clears throat> we'll try to make sure we can get you into a coaching program. Uh huh. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. All right. Archie K. Hey, Uncle, went vegan from your advice. Great, great, great. Uh huh. All right. When it comes to vitamin B12. All right. So this is a common question that comes up um, in terms of uh, uh, whenever someone's talking about plant, plant-based diets or vegan or something like that. Uh, B12 is an organism that coats the earth. Um, if you're eating from it, you know, you're down to the ground like humans, you know, we get things from the earth, we get that into our system. So, uh, you know, it's, we're connected to the planet. So that's the reason why, you know, when say go to space is like, what are you talking about? <laughs> You're going to miss out on B12. Um, and also vegetation is like human beings can't make vitamin C. We get that from vegetation. Um, we get the uh, we get the B12 from this fungus, so do the animals. So if the animals are eating, it's supposed to be easier for us to absorb from the animals. Um, but that comes with, obviously, a whole host of deadly er problems. <laughs> um, you know, you rarely hear somebody having your B12 issues. But if you're getting that to that direction, you know, I would recommend if you're thinking that you're, you know, we can look up the, the symptoms for B12. A lot of it's just a lot of it's so common that you wouldn't actually know whether or not you have an issue. So it's like, you know, you feel tired. OK, <laughs> um, there, you know, you can be feel tired for a number of different reasons. So uh, just go ahead and check out B12. Look at the symptoms. If you think you're coming anywhere near, just take a supplement. So uh, that's the only way, you know, it's just sort of weird to me that now, you know, all humans have to take a supplement to live. That's just weird. <laughs> Either eat this animal, or you got to take this supplement and die. <laughs> it's like, what? And you need like a nanogram of it. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But hey, uh, that's the research we have. Uh, I, I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't want to misinform. So yeah, supplement, get a supplement if you're concerned about that. Mm -hmm. Ah, thanks, Donald. Thanks, appreciate you. Uh-huh. Quinn H, we are live. You say you missed the live? We are live. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me see. Uh, Archie McKay, how much is group coaching? Actually, we don't have a price on that yet. Uh, what, well, what I'll do, um, Unfortunately, uh, we don't have. Uh, hold on one second. Let me check something here. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, let me check something right quick. All right. So if you go down in the description, uh, sort of halfway down there, we have uh, a link to the group coaching. Um, for some reason, you may not be able to click on it uh, to, for it to go directly. Just copy and paste it into the URL, go to that page. You can then uh, uh, just fill out a form. <laughs> it just gives us some basic demographic information. And then we'll be doing the, uh, the Zoom groups. We had a lot of people who signed up already. So if you want to hop in, um, please do. You know, it's easier once we th get things set up to like do a couple of more. We just have a lot of people who want a lot of information. I want to make sure you get to get it to us. But, uh, you know, the my private clients are cost a lot. So, and I don't have space right now for more. <laughs> Woo! So, uh, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Let me get, uh, there was a question that I was instructed to find. Uh, <laughs> ah, there we go. Thanks, thank you, Nikki. <laughs> Clint. Uh-huh. Hmm. I've been taking African fly on and off and in first week, I've seen big difference in my size. My question is when placing order Placing under tongue, is there a tingling sort of burning sensation or is it just me? Yep, it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, we don't cut it with anything. Uh, African fly is uh, eight different herbs, uh, strength of cheap cloth into alcohol, um, and it does have that. If that is an issue with you, just take it with a little bit of water. It'll dilute it very quickly. You know, it just tastes a little sweet and gingery after that. Uh, so... Uh, but yeah, that's the fastest way for it to get into your system. And, uh, I'm used to it. I've been taking it for so many years. <laughs> I'm used to it. So, uh, it's up to you how you take it as long as you get into your system and, uh, you know, there you go. 
Uh, glad it's working for you. Absolutely, positively glad. Uh huh. Mm hmm. TJ Evans asks, um, while taking African Fly, will any other natural supplements take away from the power from African Fly from working properly? Uh, typically, no. Uh, I mean, there are there, with any. You, there's it's a chemical reaction. You're taking a chemical <laughs> uh, in terms of whatever food you're eating, eating, and whether it's just a straight food or you know a tea. There's always like contra. <laughs> but for the most part, no. Um, as long it depends on what that natural process, product is. Is it actually natural? Uh, that's one question. Um, but you know, uh, no, you should be fine with it. Uh, you do want to be careful. I mean, just go ahead and look it up. You know, internet. <laughs> You know, just type in, uh, you know, uh, whatever that formula is and just see what they say about it. Because there are some herbs, some natural formulas that actually do decrease your libido, do decrease your testosterone. It may help out in another way, but you just want to be careful of that. So just look at what that, whatever that formula is just to see what it does. All right. Hope that helps. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, uh. Yeah, that B, vitamin B12 there, yeah, that comes up a lot. That comes up a lot. Mm hmm. Uh huh. All right. Uh, looks like we got, uh, hopefully, I got those questions answers. Uh, uh huh. Hmm. All right. So, uh, Linux got this. One question, I think this is a good question. It's sort of instructive. Uh, bro, my problem is I can't get an erection lately, but I have an erection during the night. But when I'm with a, gir with a girl, it's not working. I am also a vegetarian. All right, so the good news is you're having erections. Uh, uh, during the night, uh, if you're having erections during the right night, that means you can have erections. If you're not having erections during the day, there's something else going on. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, of course, I don't have enough information to uh, help you to guide you through this uh, because there are a, a bunch of problems. Um, you should be having, you know, when you're saying that the, the girl, it could be the girl situation. Is there a level of stress there? Um, is there a physical issue in terms of obviously there's a physical issue if you can't have an erection when you want to an erection on demand? That means you're lower on the sexual performance scale and you have to do the work in terms of. Eating as clean as possible, eating just as much vegetation as possible, uh, getting your exercise in, getting your sleep in, because there's a health component to it, and maybe that'll help with some stress, because if you're with a girl, it's not working, uh, that's not an issue. And, you know, also you say you're a vegetarian. Uh, guys, I want you to be very careful with this, with the terms, vegetarian, vegan, and whole plant. Uh, vegetarian means that you're eating eggs and uh, eggs, cheese. And milk. Uh, and with vegan, it's a whole lot of processed food, a lot of processed food. The unfortunate thing is you're supposed to be eating whole plant. You're supposed to get as much fiber into your body as possible. Your body runs optimally on fiber. When you have the, the vegetarian, uh, the vegan alternative, like vegan lasagna, you still have a whole bunch of oil and heaviness and processed plants, a lot of processed plants. So you don't want processed animals. So you, if you eat animals like you know a straight up steak that's bad you eat a processed steak you know some bologna out of that whatever uh i don't know where bologna comes from <laughs> uh, you you know that that's even worse the same thing with plants you eat the regular plant that's great you eat the processed plant is not as great so you want to be careful with that because um you know especially if you're getting a lot of soy in there you know there's soy is a very processed plant uh Normally in nature, is, soy is great for us, but if you overprocess it and the fact that there's so much in so much of our food, you have to be careful of that. So, yeah, there's some things, uh, some things to think about, Linux. Uh, uh, check out the coaching. Check out that coaching link and maybe you can uh, dive in a little bit more. Uh, huh? Yep, Curtis, I only eat fish and shrimp, vegetables and fruit. Yep, uh, that's good. Uh, Try to get off of the, the, the fish and shrimp too. It's still dead. <laughs> uh, tasty, but dead. <laughs> uh, so, and, and also, in all seriousness, there's a lot of uh, factory farming of fish 
and uh, fisheries, and also there's a lot of pollution. So you have to be careful about uh, the stuff that's coming in. You know, some people will say, well, this isn't as poisonous as that. And it's like, it's still a poison. So you have to be very careful with the fish that we're consuming, especially nowadays. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. 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 I hope I have gotten as many questions in as possible. Please. Uh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we're hitting up on an hour here. Uh, um, hmm. Uh, Juan Garcia, where can I get African fly over the counter or just online? Just online for right now. Uh, uh, we're looking to get it into stores, into Amazon, some other places so we can get it to you faster. Uh, hmm? You have your own test booster? I'm not sure what you mean. Patrick? Uh-huh. Ah, Willie Gordon, what's the best routine in life to keep erections all the time? Um... The best routine, uh, we call it ESEIS, um, E-S-E-I-S. So for what you're going to eat, energy is nothing but energy. It comes from the sun that stores itself in plants and get that, that fiber in you. Sleep, eight hours of sleep, deep sleep, uh, get a mask for your eyes. Uh, don't have like TV and video on for like three hours before you go to sleep. You want to get the highest quality of sleep possible. That's when your testosterone builds. Uh, your erections will actually get stronger if you're having, you know, plant based and you're uh, getting that amount of sleep. You're getting a bunch more erections and, uh, and, and stronger erections while you're asleep, uh, which will lead to morning erections, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, exercise, high intensity interval training. Um, when you think of high intensity, it's sort of like watching kids play, how they like run for just a few seconds and stop. And figure somebody else to run, just run. It's like you, you want to get that whole thing of like getting that burst of energy uh, into your body. Uh, so and it, I talk about that in a couple of different videos. The intermittent fasting, because you want your body to relax. When we keep on stuffing food into our bodies, we actually wear down the, the walls in there. Uh, because your body has to process. Your body is, your throat, uh, the esophagus, uh, all the way through your stomach, it's a muscle. <laughs> it's sitting there constantly pushing stuff through. So, you know, you want to uh, uh, be in control of your, your food, your sleep, your exercise, um, your intermittent fasting. You want to make sure that you have your insides as clean as possible. Um, give yourself a break and your soul. Uh, you need means your soul is your unique self, your unique self, how you yourself relates to the world. You can improve that. You can improve that by improving yourself in terms of doing meditation, studying, looking to find more successful ways to implement the stuff that I'm saying. Uh, that's what I talk about, you know, during coaching is like, OK, this is figuring out a routine, figuring out some rituals that you can use. Uh, but those things apply to all humans at all ages at all times. That's the way we function. So if you're at your best on those five things, energy, sleep, exercise, intermittent fasting, and your soul, your body's going to work very well. No need for pills, no need for African fly. <laughs> no for anything. You are just going to have that energy that you want to live for life. So hope I answered that question. That's a good one. That's a good one, Will. You're thinking, sir. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Selling African fly in gyms. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Uh, so, as always, like, subscribe. <laughs> Hit that like button. We appreciate it so much. Um, I'm about to close up out of here, but I want to thank you. say thank you for all of that. Uh, thank you, uh, Subir. Super. Uh, I wish I could say your name. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll find out if you're in the coaching session. Uh, but of course, make sure you check out the, the coaching. If you need uh, coaching, we're, we're, we're doing, uh, it's, it's exclusive. We're, we're not allowed, allowing everybody in. I want to get people in who are serious, who want to make those changes in their lives. So uh, please uh, answer those questions and you know we'll reach out to you and we'll get this thing started actually on October 20th. So it'll be quick. Uh-huh. Uh, Willie Gordon, what's the options to bulk? Okay. Okay. Um, uh, 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 you got a gym? All right, we'll work that out. <laughs> Willie Gordon, uh, Willie, if you could do me a favor and send an email to team at airs naturals, uh, that's T E A M at airs naturals, A Y E R S 
naturals, N-A-T-U-R-L-S dot com. Uh, if you send that an email to us, uh, you, uh, send an email to us and we will uh, we'll try to try to hook you up. That sounds like a very interesting prospect. So, guys, once again, thank you so very much. Appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure to check us back out next Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, we have our videos going out every Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check them out. Thank you so much for showing up. Thanks for my staff for putting up with me. And we are out of here. This is Uncle B saying, get your game up. Peace out.